With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And taking the ball for the Yankees, Nestor Cortez Jr. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The Leading fans expect it. And I think Colorado. everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Charlie Blackman in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And that's oh. off the inside edge. Two balls, no strikes. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game yeah. and sometimes from at bat to at bat. The 2-1. Tapped softly on the ground. Volpe tosses across the first. One out in the top of the first. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit. How aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing your, on your approach but I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays out in a ball game you're more intent on saying with two strikes I got to make sure that I put the ball in play because even if I don't get a knock there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs here comes the 0-1 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off-speed away. And a swing and a miss, and there's two away. That he came good. out of his mechanics the there. Typically field, likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Brenton Doyle at the plate with two away, swings through no that ball. one. One strike. Doyle patrolling center field hitting third in the lineup and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2019 late that time and it's strike two I think he was sitting off speed there two outs bases empty this one in the air center field Judge has it sized up. Brings it in for the third out. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Back at Yankee Stadium. Today's starting pitcher, number 29. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. Well, go. He's going to have to find a way to limit the base base runners, put Let's his go. team in a position to win a ball go game. Right. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Now the 0-1. Oh. 1-1. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Tolia makes the play, and there's one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. This is a very patient lineup we're going to see. They've got the most walks of any team in the league, so that's a big part of their approach as an offensive unit. Boog, and when you can do that, the amount of pressure that that can put on the pitcher, making him you know, grind through every hitter, so much that he's got to think about when you got base runners on and a good hitter at the plate. And so free base runners, they're going to happen when you have hitters like this. 
up to the pitchers to figure out a way to have better command and make sure that they can get some outs when they do get a base runner double play. But when you have a team like this, very difficult to stop. Foul ball. He's dealing with a great two strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. And that one, one is two. inside. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. One down. Base is empty. And that's no, outside. That's now two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Swings and misses. Oh. In plenty of time to first. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Bogey just yeah. ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Two outs, base is empty. Here's some real power at the plate. Aaron Judge. That Ball. misses. Ball one. The wind of the pitch. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And now he's falling behind Judge. Two down, nobody on. Judge comes up empty there. Two and two to count. Got him looking. And it's a three up, three down inning. We head to the second from the big ballpark in the Bronx. No score. Top of the second, and now the veteran third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon. As the lefty gets to work. That yeah. one's in there. That's strike one. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Our plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. The throw into second. And he's out. Time for two. Got to love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Brendan Rodgers stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. And a count is 0-2. Second inning here, no score. And ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next pitch is outside. Way out front for strike two. One, two. Got it by him for the K. 
Rockies are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back for more from the Bronx. Bottom of the second. Stepping in the long ball threat. Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. That one oh, misses. Oh. Ball one. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. one, one. That one's in there, and the count is one and two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Next two, offering three. way off the plate. And a base hit into right center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the right hander deals. And yeah. that is in for a strike. And the count one and one. Stanton aboard here at first with nobody out. Good eye on that spot. It's a good take. Two and two. Two two now. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three. And they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first, inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Top half of the third inning. Nolan. Here's the left fielder, the left Nolan field. Jones. Nolan Jones. The wind in the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pretty much textbook pitching for the three-pitch K right there. Jumped ahead 0-2 on two pitches he didn't want to go after at the plate. Then, knowing he's going to be a little more aggressive trying to protect he expands just out of the zone where he couldn't do anything with it. He gets the strikeout and keeps the pitches thrown to a minimum. Very nice. Jordan Beck, the next to hit, takes outside. Swing and a pop up under it. And it's caught for the out.
Batting none. And okay. now, Drew Romo. Drew Romo. And there's a foul ball. Hit hard on the ground to short. Volpe throws the first in time. It's a 1 2 3 inning for the Rockies. 1 2 3 go the Rockies. Still no score. Back in New York, Leading now the left Florida fielder, Yankees. Alex Verdugo. The left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The why to kick the pitch. Be that back. one finds the corner, strike one. This to third, McMahon. To first, one gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting it. The third baseman, Oswald. Peraza. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Right, right through there for a strike. Still tied at zero, last of the third. Next oh. offering misses down and away. That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Rogers throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. Batting none. The designated hitter. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Ball one, ball. no strikes. Ripped on the ground a second, sends it to Tolia, and the Yanks go quietly. Down in order, go to Yankees, and we're still knotted at zero. Start of the fourth. Now it's Charlie Blackman. Blackman goes six feet, three inches, 220 pounds, and he was a second round pick back in 2008. All these Rockies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Then there's one down. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Tovar, the, the next to hit, takes ball one. And a pitch. And a strike in there. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Just off the outside edge. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three two now. Hammered and now maybe extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Not in time. He's got a double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. 
swing and a miss. Strike one. Zero balls, one strike. Fourth inning underway, no score. Rip, but it curls foul. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle strike. approach. And a pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Man at second. Stays alive. In the air, right side of the infield. And that will fall around third. Fires it to the plate. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Upstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. One run across in the frame so far. Top half of inning number four. Step off, throw to first. Oh, Doyle great. back in on a dive. Bounce to the right side. Nice stop to his knee. The throw on the money. Nice play. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Struck out looking at his first at bat. That's in there. That's strike one. Runner at second, two down. The pitch. That one That's is upstairs. One and two. Pitch two, misses. Two. two balls, two strikes. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that change up as he fouls that fastball back. Man on second, two down. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one hops the wall. The run comes in from second. It's 2-0. And that's a two-out double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So two down. Here's Michael Tolia. Struck out swinging his first time. And a foul ball. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Just a slow ground ball this time. Throws to first. They limit the damage here. They get two runs on three hits. No errors and one left. 
We're midway in the fourth. It's the Rockies two and the Yankees nothing. Here at New Yankee leading Stadium in the Yankees. Bronx, John Chambi and the Chris Singleton baseball. with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Glaber oh, Torres. Yeah. And a pitch. Well, after scoring That's runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. You know, these Yankees just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those You're locations, one. and that's been true again today. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Doyle sizes this one up. Makes the catch, and there's one down. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. That one hammer, but pulled foul. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Inside nope. oh. just missed. Missed oh. with a changeup and a count two and one. One down, base is empty. That oh, one a little oh. bit high. Three balls and a strike. Oh. And that's through there for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. And he walked him. Ball four. Runner take the base. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here is Aaron Judge. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging too. Fastball in for a strike. 0 and 1. Early oh in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then, if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. And Judge spoils that one. There comes an 0-2 to judge. Good job to fight that one off. Soto stands at first with one out. And that's no, outside. That's outside. And that's ball one. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Doyle makes a nice running catch. Now batting right fielder Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. One for one with a single so far. And the first the pitch ball. misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Late on that fastball. Well, he just threw that one fastball one. by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Foul ball there. Hard hit, right side, inning over. The Yanks leave one, and they're down two nothing. Here in New York, all set for the start of the inning. Now here's Nolan Jones. Nolan Jones. 
Cortez back to work. Yeah. Fastball for a strike. Come on, Yankees, let's go. That one missed by a lot. Strike. Yeah, the count even one and one. Swings through that one for strike two. One and two to count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Good eye nope, right there. Ball. One out, base is empty. Hey. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. One, two. Hey. Got him swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. Back to back curveballs and back to back whiffs. And I tell you what, that's having a feel for what you can beat a hitter with. And clearly, he wasn't picking up that breaking ball at all. And here's the catcher, Drew Romo. Grounded out his first time. Swing and a foul straight back. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, He's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Next ball. offering misses. One and two to count. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Nothing doing for the Rockies. They're up to nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. That one catches the corner for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. That's down and in. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone oh, and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And that one is lifted in the air. Doyle moving under this one. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. The batter number 11. Good job. So digging in, Anthony Volpe grounded out his first time. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. That's a strike. 0 and 2. And that's oh. in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. The two shortstop takes the ball. Offering upstairs. Outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction.
Verdugo oh. at the plate now. That's ball one. Volpe, the base runner at first with one out. Check on the runner. Volpe hey. dives back in safely. Right-hander kicks, deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And the pitch. Runner on the goal. This one popped up. Hauls it in for the out. That's out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And up next for New York, Oswald Peraza. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attack hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Pickoff throw. Hey. Volpe back in standing. The Yanks down by a pair. Last half of inning number five. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Beck makes the catch. And that is that. One left for the Yankees. They trail things here 2 nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, there's Chuck Nasty. The designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. And here it comes. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Just missed. The pitch. And another ball. And that is in for a strike. And now two and two. The pitch. And that one ripped into right. And that's a fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. He makes it safely with a leadoff double in the sixth. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So, man aboard. Next to hit, Ezekiel Tovar. One for two. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, Man at second. Hot shot to third. Zips it across. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. The Let's the defense work nine. behind him with another ground Brenton ball. Good execution. Doyle. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. Come on, Late with the swing there. Activity in the bullpen Going for one. the Yankees. Jake Cousins getting ready to go. Hill also throwing. And now the lefty. Ground ball up the middle. Torres over to first. And that is out number two. The third base, number 24, Ryan. Ryan McMahon, the next to hit. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. 
and immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play to throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Two outs. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Two outs and one in scoring position. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. The one two gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a one two wouldn't two, chase two. that time. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rockies 2 and the Yankees nothing. Back in the Bronx, bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in, Trent Grisham. The right-hander back to work. Fought off foul. Grisham, first round pick of the Brewers in 2015. Here comes the 01. Swings yeah. through that one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to one, commit two. to one velocity and stay there. 1 2 now. Struck him out looking. Now back, second base. back to the top of the Yankee Glaber. order. Here is Glaber Torres. Torres. The high fastball, no particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Swing at a ball lifted to center field, and that'll get down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now batting. Dominant First performance for him today, oh. Boo. Just two hits allowed no, so no. far, no runs across either, and He's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced, so I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Runner on at first with one gone. Now the number two hitter, Juan Soto. He's 0 for 1. And that one is inside ball one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Kicks and fires. That's down. That's the ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Next one is off the plate. And that's ball three. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally. And this guy is someone you can believe in and to find a way to get on base. Righty delivers. This one smashed down the right field line. And foul ball. Calling this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Right through there for a strike. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. 
Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Aaron Judge at the plate. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. One and out. Righty to the plate. And that's ripped for a base hit. In to score from third. It's 2-1. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. First and second, one out. Here's Stanton now. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Out front and foul to the left side. Soto, the lead runner at second. Judge at first. One gone. A little bit no, high, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Oh, Off the plate inside, and the count is three and one. Austin Wells on deck for the Yankees. And that ball is ball four, and the Yankees are in business. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Number 29, done for the afternoon, and he leaves with the lead after giving them some decent innings. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a moment. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Cal Quantrill. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Next to hit, Austin Wells. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Just that's off the ball. inside edge. Well, all eyes on the double ball, play ball no in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And that one is in for a strike. Just nope. missed. Oregon situations like these, the ball, air can get right. really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. At the belt and fires. Yeah. Base is loaded. One away. <laughs> two two. Ah, that got him. And that's going to force in a run. Man, that's tough. You can see him out there working hard to try to get out of that situation, but I just think he tried to do too much. Now it's the shortstop. Anthony Volpe, his July and August splits there. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Lucas Gilbert getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Lawrence, a hard throwing right hander up as well. And the righty deals. And that's outside. And now it's even one and one. One and one. Still only one out here in the inning. And a count one and two.
Quattro back to work. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Here's Alex Verdugo. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. And now it's even up. Base is loaded, two down. And now two and one. Inside, just missed. This one is blasted. A no doubter. Grand slam. He powers that one out of here. His 11th of the year. It's 6-2. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. So two down, now the third baseman, Oswald Peraza. Swing and a pop-up, under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 6-2. Back now in the Bronx the at the play. Brendan the Rogers. Week. Brendan Rogers. As the lefty gets to work. Right through there for a strike. With all these Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone right all here. game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Line drive. Come on. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. Next One offering ball, down in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's out number two. Two outs, space is empty. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. There's a strike. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. And it's fouled away. The Rockies down by four here in the top half of inning number seven. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Rockies are down quietly. They still trail it here. It's six to two. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the DH, Trent Grisham. Quadrill in his fifth season, 29 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Quadrill. 
Quantrill back to work. That missed. That's a ball. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand batter waits. And they'll do it again. Foul ball still a one and two count. Right handed reliever. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Quattrill ahead one and two. Clobber to right field way back. He flexes his power with that swing. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they tack one on the board. It's 7-2. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. Lucas Gilbert gets the call from the pen. He's into the game with the bases empty. Gilbert. So the lineup flips over. Here comes Glaber Torres. Fastball for a strike. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here at the bottom of the seven. Next oh, offering low, is down low. The real threats are coming up, already giving up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. And that's oh. off the inside edge. And it's two and one. Top of the zone for a called strike. And oh. another ball. We got a full count. On the ground. Gloves it on the dive. Throws from his knees. Nicely done for the out. Chang Ho Park. He's forced into the game at shortstop due to the injury. Number 10. And now it's Juan Soto. Up next to the Yankees. The first baseman. Juan Soto. That clips the corner. To third. Makes the sliding stop to first. Yet he beats the throw. He's safe. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. One for three. And the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. Part of the order coming out. through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Soto, at first, one gone. Come on, let's keep it going. Next yeah. pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. one, and one. I think he was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. Ah. Come 
comes up empty. That's strike two. Knowing that the One, pitcher two, wants count. a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And there's a ball. Next that's pitch misses, and it's three and two. Ball count. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back-to-back -back singles. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Stanton stands in now, looks at that one inside. Runners at first and second with one gone. And that one wrapped foul. That's outside. That's and it's two and one. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Two on, one out. Ground ball left side could be two. Park toss to second, double play. And that'll do it for the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's 7-2. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jake Cousins. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. And now the right fielder, Jordan Beck. The right fielder, Jordan Beck. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Got him swinging for the strikeout. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Catcher. Now the catcher up to hit, Romo. Drew Romo. Soda. Ice cold soda. Right hey, through there for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen, number 50. The hard throwing righty is up and loosening. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. Misses no, just off the, the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Next Two one in the dirt. And that skips in the dirt. the second out oh man just locked him up with that slider even though it caught a lot of the zone and I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box and it clearly was not that pitch so the Rockies lineup turns over Charlie Blackman digging in for the Rockies and the pitch a little bit low ball one Swing and a miss. And one, one and one. one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. Here comes a pinch. And that nope. just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Man at first. So in now for Colorado, Chang Ho Park. That one oh. off the mark, and it's one to know. And a pitch. That ah. one finds the zone, one and ball, it's a ball strike. to strike. The shortstop That's takes the ball. ball. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Two outs. Good eye nope. in that oh. spot. Brenton Doyle in the Colorado on deck circle. High fly ball out to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Yankees seven and the Rockies two. Back now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Justin Lawrence. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. The catcher, Austin Wells. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Slings it across. One up, one down. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. The batter number 11, shortstop Anthony. Here's the shortstop Volpe. at the play, Anthony Volpe. Come on, New York. That right. one finds the zone. That's strike oh, one. one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Peter Lambert getting loose out there. This one high in the air to left center. Jones under it. They got it for out number two. The left fielder, number 23. And next for New York, Alex Verdugo. He's already homered here in this one. Clips the corner. Going one. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Yanks held in check. But they're still on top, seven to two. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, number 50. Now coming on to face a righty York, here, and he's been fantastic number against 50. him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. The center fielder. And now nine. here is Brenton, Brenton Doyle. Doyle. The pitch, and that's, that's off the, the inside edge, one and that's ball one.
Right hander kicks deals. Foul ball. And he deals. In for a strike. Going to count one and two. Action in the pen down there. Mark Leiter Jr. appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Here's a one two. Three. Right through there. Got him. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third. And that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. He swings and fouls one off. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That one oh. missed. One, two. And that's no, a little that high. That's a ball. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Left-hand hitter waits. Just Out off the outside corner, and it's a full count. Sets him down looking. Rockies down to their final out. Really good battle right there. And that final the pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. Strike away. Got him. And that wraps it up for this afternoon. Key to this game was that huge sixth inning. They jumped all over the opposing pitching, and it was like they knew what was coming. And that kind of confidence just takes a team to the finish line. And that's what they did. They got the win in this game. 7 2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.